we're uh, chasing storms or storms are chasing us. I'm not sure. Not real sure which one it is. <laughs> but we do have weather moving in. Uh, has the potential to be uh, intense this evening. But uh, of course, like everything else, a lot of it's going to be in timing when it actually gets here. If the haze that's in the air is any indication, then I don't know what's going to be coming tonight. Look at that. Look across there. It's just so steamy, humid, hazy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if some pretty intense thunderstorms didn't blow up before this is all over with. Yeah, the uh, last bulk feed bag was... Uh, a little bit too heavy for the tractor. I mean, the tractor will pick it up and everything, but when you consider the height of the bolt bin off the ground and the length of the bag, my tractor just does not have enough reach to get the bag up over the uh, bin, especially if the bag is well over 1,700 pounds, which this one is. So a little bit bigger than I wanted, but that was about all I could get. Update time. Look there. We have a few clouds in the sky, but we also have dry weather, which means there's stuff to get done. First opportunity I've had in a while to be able to try to get some spot spraying done on the pastures to get these thistles down. So we're going to be working on that. Oh, plus, by the way, uh, last check, last mama we had delivered was our little muffin. Remember her? Okay. That left us one mama, and it's been a few days, but she finally delivered early this morning. So I'll try to get some video of them here in just a few. So right now I gotta get this sprayer pulled up here, collect my parts, see if I can get this spot sprayer up and running. And then see if I can locate the other one somewhere. Or somewhere. I do. Finally found a replacement for that one. Didn't ever find the one that I brought home for it, but oh well, as it works. Next, we'll be replacing one of these hoses because they are. Pretty bad shape. I have to get hooked up to a hot battery. I might just pull the tractor up here. Yeah. I do what I want to do. Before I tighten everything down, I think for now I'm just going to get some water in it, test it out, make sure there's no leaks before I go any further. That's why I like to test it several times. See, there's leaks. Yeah. So. 
so. It's going to be on there. Spray your hose. I knew that I might not have been. Well, still no go. It's sucking in a lot of air from somewhere. And that's keeping it from building up pressure to be able to shoot out. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more work on it before I can do much of anything. <sighs> I really wanted to get some pasture spray tonight. This afternoon. Leave it to me. Turn a 15 minute project into three hours. Seems that's the way like it always goes on the farm. Okay. It's time for a cup of coffee. Well, since that was a bust, I guess I'll drain this tank. Put it up to a well, that was aggravating. Worked on that thing for two plus hours and uh, still couldn't get it to work right. I mean, I still could have sprayed, but it would have taken three times as long to get it done. Still not working right. Pump won't build up pressure, which means the spray just pumps it, it doesn't spray so that means you'd sit there with a wand on the weed and have to sit in one spot to get enough of it to actually do any good why are you sunburned huh did you lose enough hair to get sunburned you did I'm sorry. Want some lotion? Yeah? Okay. What else do you do when an animal talks to you? You answer it. Well, it is another day, evening, whatever you want to call it. Didn't have much luck getting the spot sprayer up and running, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, get that done maybe tomorrow evening as soon as I get home picked up some parts today so hopefully hopefully I can get that done we're gonna get down here and get started feeding but up oh we've got to get hay on the hay table tonight for all the girls in there brought the bale up so in case it was raining I wouldn't have to go fight it in the rain we're gonna get down here push this one group of girls it's a small group there's only about four of them in this group but there's one of them that is a recurring issue she's a table jumper you've seen those on this channel before they spend about as much time on top of the hay table as they do eating on it well oh yeah bulk bag still sitting here there's a reason for that too let me show you that but covered as much as possible but our table jumper comes out here and she tore a hole in the bag and helps herself. But I can't really get it moved into the bin because now I'm afraid that that uh, bag might rip. You saw Muffin and her baby, okay? You saw this girl and her baby. Then that one right there, little fluff and puff there, had her little ram lamb. The other little black and white one. All doing well. So that wraps up this lambing group. So we'll have a little bit of a respite. And then we'll start again on our next group.
not such a big deal anymore because they know that means speeding time is very close. Got the bail in, but I forgot to adjust the camera so that you could see what was going on. <laughs> you can see it just kind of going overhead, but anyway, got that done. The cows, the pigs, got the water tanks. All bef well, just about the time that the fog was rolling in, it is like a literally a bank heavy fog that started rolling in just a few minutes ago and you can barely see the, the security light yeah. for all the fog I mean it it's just poof like a big cloud anyway my granddaughter was going is that smoke <laughs> all right well that's gonna wrap it up for us tonight we'll see you back here next time thanks for watching